the color freedom. I'm going to tell you about a time when words were important in songs and in stories. So if you know the song, sing along with me. And if you know the story, listen for the sound of the call. Welcome to Alabama. You are on the hot, dry plantation belonging to the Sunderlands. This is where my pa works from sun up to sunset. Me and my mama, we work up in the big house. And my granny, she watches over everybody's children, the ones in the big house and the ones in the cabin. Today, Granny is making this blanket, she said, we gonna call freedom. She stands in this hot sun every day, stirring in that big black wash pot and singing her song. Wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the waters. Today is Monday. And today is Sunday, so Mama and Pa are the only ones working. Me and my friend Izzy, we're helping Granny hang her threads out to dry. And the colors, they are so beautiful. She said each color represents freedom. We're not really sure what she means by that, but everybody says Granny only speaks the truth. She told me and Izzy to get some bay leaves and some bamboo. She uses those to make the colors bright. We're really not sure how she does that either. But she told us to pour the bay leaves in the pot. So we poured the whole bowl in. And she stirred and sang her song. Before we knew it, the threads were as bright yellow as the sun in the sky. So we took them out and put them on the line to dry. Then she asked for the bamboo. But something happens when she uses the bamboo. Bamboo turns the water red and red makes Granny cry. Granny had told me that red was the color they used when they stole her from Africa. Izzy had never heard the story, so I asked Granny if she would tell her why red makes her cry. So Granny came over and she gave me the stick and told me to turn. And she started knitting her blanket. Then she decided she wanted all the children from the cabins to hear the story. So she called out, babies, babies. And she began to clap her hands. Now Pa, he told me about the clapping of the hands and the beating of the drums. He said, the faster the beat, the faster the rhythm, the faster you better move. So before we knew it, all the children were sitting at Granny's feet and she looked at us and said, babies, we haven't always lived on plantations. Our families were, and they still are, kings and queens. We come from royal priesthood a holy nation. I wasn't much younger than you when these strangers started coming to our village. Our chief had told us never to be out alone. But this one day, I was out by the tree line and the stranger had this beautiful red blanket. He laid it out and he waved for me to come over. I ran over and reached out to touch it, but he snatched it away. I thought it was a game because he ran a little more, laid it out again, and waved for me to come over. So this time, I ran as fast as I could. And when I got there, I reached out to touch it, but someone grabbed me from behind and threw the red blanket over my head. I screamed for my paw. But no one came. Before I knew it, they were carrying me away and I ended up into the belly of a ship and I heard other voices just like mine screaming, Pa, Pa, Pa. But no one came. Soon the 
ship started to move and the waves from the ocean just made me sick. All I wanted was my mama and my pa. But no one came. We sailed for days and for nights. And then I ended up here on this plantation as a slave for the Sonderlands. So babies, when I tell you, you have to know the color of freedom, the sound of the call, and how to run for your life. I need you to hear me. Well, Izzy got scared and she said, but Granny, we can't leave here because Master said if we run, he'll kill us. Granny said, baby, when something scares you in your head, you have to think with your heart. Now, Granny had been teaching me for months different things about the stars, how I could travel the land just by looking at the stars. She taught me passwords, usually things from the Bible. That way we could talk. Master didn't know what we were talking about. She taught me cold words, the things like the drinking gourd stood for the little dipper. She timed me on my runs to the river. She said I was going to be the one to take the families to freedom when I was ready. <laughs> and last night, she sent me to the river and I made it back before she finished singing my song. I was ready. I was scared. But it was time because God's gonna trouble the waters. And Monday morning came and it was time for all of us to get back to work. Izzy and her mama were working in the field and me and my mama were up in the big house. I overheard Massa saying he was gonna sell off some slaves and Izzy hadn't been working hard enough. I knew I needed to help her, but I didn't know what to do. So I ran back to the cabin and I told Granny what Massa had said. When I got home that evening for dinner, it was ready and Granny said, baby, you need to eat this fast. You're going to need all of your energy. She had knitted a yellow shirt and she gave it to Izzy. Izzy didn't say a word, neither did her mama. They went straight to their cabin. The sun was setting, so I looked out for Pa and I saw he was coming in. He always sat on the porch and played his drums. He said it just helped him relax. But tonight when he played his drums, he hit him harder and faster than I had ever heard him play before. And when Granny sang her song, she sang it in a way I had never heard her sing. She sang, wade in the water. God's gonna trouble the waters. She paused and I looked over to the side of the house and I saw Izzy and her mama standing there. Granny looked at me and said, baby, I'm going to sing this song one time before I see you again. And remember, if something scares you in your head, you have to think from your heart. She started singing the song again. I grabbed Izzy, Izzy grabbed her mama, and we took off running before we knew it. We were at the river. We stood there frozen because we didn't know what else to do. All of a sudden, I saw a quick flash of light, and it was gone. Then I heard a deep voice say, I have some bay leaves. Are you hungry? I knew bay leaves is what Granny used to make the yellow shirt that Izzy had on. Izzy said, yes. Then I felt a hand take Izzy's away from mine and Izzy and her mama walked away and they got on that canoe and they sailed off to freedom. I looked up at the drinking gourd and I followed myself all the way back to my cabin. And when I got there, Granny was still singing her song. She smiled when she saw me and she sang that last verse. And then she stood up and she said, baby, Tonight, the color of freedom is yellow. That's it. Boom.